Welcome to Star Wars Action News, helping Star Wars collectors collect better. Constable Zuvio. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Now, this is a character I've done Google searches. I'm straining my brain for the trailers I've seen. Unless this is on one of the new TV spots that just aired, we've not seen any image of this character. There's a little bit of art out there. I can't even tell if it's fan art or official art. But this apparently is an important enough character to deem worthy of figures in both the three and three quarter inch line and to be our eighth figure in the six inch line. And he'll probably have five seconds of screen time. That might well be true. There's a rumor. Would you like to know the rumor? Sure. It's not a plot point for anyone who's spoiler phobic. The rumor is this character could be played by Simon Pegg because there's a photo of Simon Pegg Obviously in the desert, wearing a grayish kind of mottled costume with a big black neck where you could put a mask over it or something. Well, Constable Zuvio is from Jakku, so out there in the desert, the hat represents somebody trying to keep sun off their head. And so maybe this is JJ bringing his friend Simon in. Presumably Simon Pegg would have a cameo, not a major role, but... It's so hard to say. They're just so secretive. Well, and he really couldn't top his role in Star Trek anyway. No, and he became so important in Star Trek, he's writing and producing the third Star Trek. But if that's the case, even if it is just a minor character, it's kind of cool to get one because I always like characters of actors that you know. If Simon Pegg has a cameo, I'd like a figure of him. As for the figure itself... Okay, you and I both had the first same reaction... To it was, ooh, it might be inappropriate. It's hard to say what's inappropriate, but that hat definitely looks like a rice paddy hat. Like a work, someone would wear that while working in the rice paddies. If you Google rice paddy hat, it is a very common hat you will see. And then something else kind of like started going off in our head and we're like, it looks just like... The outfit that Robert Downey Jr. wore in Tropic Thunder when he was pretending to be a rice paddy worker. Mm, very funny movie. I suggest you check it out. We, one of our very early now playing reviews. But yeah, it definitely has that kind of feel because he's wearing the mask that covers his mouth and everything. All you see are the eyes. There's a strange colored, almost lizard-like skin, which... Reminds me somewhat of Robert Downey Jr. with all the makeup they put on him to portray an African-American in that film. And then, yeah, the hat. Of course, this is more high tech. Again, you got the Bluetooth headset going on around the side of the head there. Some kind of communicator. And he comes with this backpack. And I'm going to give Hasbro some serious kudos. It's included as like an accessory, but there are four notches in his back. I saw the hole in the back. I'm like, OK, well, that's where the backpack goes. But there's two notches on the side and one at the top. To make sure this thing is fit entirely right. So it's on there. Slightly crooked apparently. It's supposed to be slightly crooked. And looks like it attaches in multiple places. Like there's holes in his outfit where the straps would go underneath. Now I'm trying to peer up his outfit. It doesn't show much. You can't see above the waist below the plastic robe he's in. And because of his outfit, that restricts a lot of movement. The robe hanging down... You can't do a whole lot of thigh movement or waist movement. You can kind of twist his waist a little bit. His head was also really hard to turn, but once I got it going, it does pretty well. I kind of am impressed that the head is double jointed. It's a ball jointed head, and then there's also a swivel on it to look up and down really hmm. well. I wonder if that parlays into the movie somehow. Yeah, is that just new articulation that they're putting on this figure, or is it somehow... That he can turn his head in weird directions on the film. I tend to think they're just incorporating new articulation. I mean, this thing, for a figure you can't really move because of the outfit. They've got ankle rockers. They've got double jointed knees. They've got the hinged and swivel elbows. They've got wrist articulation. So he's highly articulated for a figure that I can't see really getting into too much combat. Though he does come with a large pike of some kind. It looks like... It's got a bit of a bayonet blade on the end, although it's really irregular. It looks like he just took some scrap metal and tied it to a pike to use as some kind of mid-range melee weapon. It's got a cool grip on it, I'll say that. And it's got this, like, ropey handle to it. 
it's so hard to judge a character I haven't seen in the movie. I know, that's the tough part of doing this. Fortunately, we're near the end of having to do this. And I like that he's a shorter figure. He's quite a bit shorter than Poe Dameron, so it really comes through that this is like a five and a half inch figure. So it's got a sense of scale that makes it a good toy. So hard to tell about the character. Honestly, other than Captain Phasma, this is the first thing that we've gotten, I think, looks Star Wars-y. This wave. This wave, yes. I mean... What about the X-Wing outfit? Well, the X-Wing outfit, duh. But what I'm saying is, I mean, for the characters that are different, this is the first thing that looks like it belongs in the Star Wars universe. I think that's because of the paint. It's got like a Boba Fett paint scheme going on with the green and the really maroon. Yeah. It's like Boba Fett's armor from Empire, and you've even got a little bit... Of like a yellowish tint like Boba Fett had on his armor. Yeah, it just seems like this character could be easily just dropped somewhere on Tatooine or something. Oh dear God, please don't be Boba Fett crawled out of the Sarlacc pit, moved to Jakku and put on this hat. Yeah, thanks for (laughs) ruining that. If I haven't mentioned I'm spoiler free, I'm sure that's not the case. (laughs) Boba Fett became a constable and changed his name to Zuvio to hide from the rebellion. And he was really tiny. You heard it here first. Thanks for watching this video. You can see full episodes of Star Wars Action News with more collecting news and reviews at SWActionNews.com. We also have thousands of toy and collectible photos in our photo gallery. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. May the pegs be stopped and the Force be with you.